what's up if you don't know who i am my name is queen trucking and this is my trucking travel and advice channel so if you guys like videos like this please consider subscribing to your girl i am on the road to 6k and if you do decide to subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be identified notified oh my god he notified <laughs> about me dropping video today i'm pretty much going to be talking about what apps that i use to pass my cdl exam y'all want to see what apps i use to pass my cdl exam keep watching this video i did a video about this a long time ago on my channel i'm gonna link it above but i decided to go ahead and do an updated version of what i use to pass my CDL exam because I have a lot of new subscribers on my channel. I have subscribers who are just trying to figure out what steps do they need to take to get their CDL. And I'm gonna tell you guys what apps I used on my phone. I have an iPhone, okay? And these apps are also on Android, by the way. Like I said, the apps that I use to pass my CDL exam, DMV Genie, and I use CDL Prep. I do get a lot of questions in my comments of people asking me, what does CMV Genie look like? What version of CDL Prep that you use? So I will insert a picture right here. This is what CDL Prep looks like. This is what DMV Genie looks like. These are the two apps that I use to study for my CDL exam. If you're looking to get into trucking, in order to get CDL Class A license, you have to pass your CDL permit exam. And this is the CDL exam that I'm talking about. I'm gonna tell you how I use these apps to study for my CDL exam because I use both of these apps, but I use both of these apps for different sections of the CDL exam. I'm gonna talk about CDL prep, okay? So if you're taking your CDL in the state of Missouri, because I did take my CDL in the state of Missouri and I took my CDL in the state of Texas, I will link both of those videos up here. I know for a fact that those tests in Texas and Missouri have not changed. They're the exact same. And I can guarantee you that CDL prep is going to help you pass your Texas CDL exam. And it's, it's most definitely like 99% going to help you pass your Missouri exam if you are taking your CDL in the state of Missouri. I took my CDL exam in Springfield, Missouri at their DMV. My problem was having students take their CDL exam in Missouri before the law changed and now you have to get your CDL at home. I'm just calling it a CDL exam, but it's your CDL permit test. For anybody who's taking their CDL in the state of Missouri, I would most definitely recommend CDL prep. And I say that because when I say it is word for word, it is word for word. This app, when you go in, it automatically pops up as soon as you click open, like y'all see right here. As soon as you click open and you, you go in, it automatically pops up. And the first thing that pops up is a white screen and it is asking you, do you want to take a practice test? Click the three little dots that are in your right hand corner and a little bar should pop up and it should ask you, what state are you in? And then you can go down and as you guys can see, I click Texas and I went to Texas and then they see that it routed me to the actual Texas website, texasdmv.org website. And on that website, it actually has the whole Texas manual right then and there. But also what Vaughn was saying that you guys could do is when you do decide to get into trucking, you can also ask your trucking company if they could email you their Pacific Pacific specific. You can ask them to email you your specific CDL manual for you to study, okay? Now in Texas, in 2019, when I got my CDL, the two apps that I used was CDL Prep and DMV Genie. But now, for some odd reason, you have to pay or subscribe to the DMV Genie app in order to even look at Texas requirements for the Texas CDL. So with that being said, I would just say just, just use CDL prep all together. Like, I wouldn't even recommend DMV Genie unless you just got the little extra coin to spend on trying to get your CDL, which I mean, it would be kind of like an investment. But for my people out there who don't have the extra $14.99 that they trying to charge to subscribe to DMV Genie, I'm gonna show y'all if you in Texas, to study for your CDL permit only using CDL prep. Okay, Texas CDL prep is not word for word like it is in Missouri. So if you're taking, if you're using CDL prep to study, I will use CDL prep as a add on to you reading the manual and actually looking and reading and going over and taking notes in the manual. I have to take the CDL permit test in Texas. I will link a video above. I 
literally studied like <laughs> I studied I sat down every day for at least two hours I had me a notebook because I study really good when I write down notes the longest section that you will take in any of CDL permit tests is general knowledge general knowledge is the longest section but a lot of it is common sense you have a driver's license you can apply a lot of your normal driving knowledge to your CDL permit when it comes to general knowledge but I would still say do what I did and what I did was I went on dmv.texas.org where, where this app sent me and I actually read that manual word for word every section that they had us read now the sections that you will have to read when it comes to Texas is the main sections will be combinations general knowledge and air brakes okay if you want to get into any of your other CDL endorsements like as your tanker or your hazmat then that's something that you can take on the side of your general knowledge your air brakes and your combinations but in texas for specifically for texas you have to take something called texas road requirements now texas is a very special state they gotta have their own specials put to the side texas requirement test and you have to pass your texas requirement test or back like a couple of years ago when i got my cdl and i actually used dmv genie dmv genie had a special test course that you could actually go in and take questions that would be like on the texas requirement test based on what's in the texas state manual cdl book so that's what i used to study along with actually reading chapter 14 because chapter 14 in the dmv manual for texas is special requirements I did is I actually went into chapter 14 and read chapter 14 where, where it took notes, wrote it down. And then I also paired that with DMV Genie to study and check like their randomized practice test. I would just say the best thing for you to do is read that stuff word for word, write down the notes and highlight and study Texas requirements because you can read, but you have to retain that information because when you take that quiz, they reword stuff from what's actually in the chapter versus how they do it for general knowledge or how they would do it for combinations. So I would say for Texas special requirements, really pay attention, really write that down and really take your notes. Actually take the time and be dedicated because if you want to actually come out here and get your CDL, you gonna have to study. There ain't no way you can just show up, take the CDL permit test and just expect the pass because yeah you can put your general knowledge that you know about driving but there's a lot of different things that come in with actually driving a semi truck but you know need a little help studying or you want a little randomized test for general knowledge air brakes and combination then cdl prep is definitely that app for you i feel like cdl prep as far as the texas cdl permit test goes it's not word for word like it is in the missouri permit test but they do use a lot of the words that you you can point you can pinpoint oh this is what they're talking about oh this is what they're talking about that's why i said it is good to you know randomize those questions in your head so if you see your, the question asked a different way on the test then you already know oh this is what they're talking about this is the answer that's why i would suggest you use cdl prep because it's really a good prepping app like i said it's a prep app it's not an app that's going to get you just passing unless you're in missouri but at the end of the day you still need to sit down and read that book there are youtube videos out there where somebody if you don't want to sit there and read that book i guarantee you if you go on youtube right now and type in texas dmv permit exam somebody go read that book where where for you because i know i was lazy and i looked it up if you want somebody else to read that book for you and you want to just sit and listen honey you can sit and listen all day because there's plenty of videos on youtube about that those are the apps that i use to pass my cdl permit exam for texas and for missouri that's just what i use personally so you guys can comment down below what did you use to study for your cdl exam like what app did you use because there's probably new apps out there that i have no idea about thank you guys for watching this channel if you guys like content like this don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i drop more videos like this i'm busting out this video today y'all gonna be tired of seeing me in my uh space jam outfit but bye